Hi, favorite friends. It's Mrs. Carol again. This time I have a book called Dear Children of the Earth because Earth Day is this week. It is written as a letter. This is a letter from home by Shim Shamel. So their cover page has all kinds of cursive handwriting. Dear Children of the Earth, A Letter from Home by Shim Shamel. On each page, there's a beautiful drawing or painting, and I'll give you some time. You'll find a picture of the earth somewhere in there, and then also has a title of the artwork. It's called Heavenly Earth. So let's get started. Dear children of the earth, I am writing this letter to ask for your help. Do you know who I am? I am the planet Earth. But I am much more than just a planet. I am your home. I am your mother earth. And just like you, there's only one of me. So I am very special and I need to be loved and cared for just like you. This painting is called Paradise Lost. Give yourself a thumbs up if you see the earth. You may also see the moon. Let me tell you more about myself. I am the boulders and trees you love to climb. I am the wet sand at the beach that squishes under your bare feet. I am the grass you lie down on when you look up at my clouds. I am the rivers and lakes and oceans you love to swim in. I am the cool green forest and the hot red deserts and the cold white glaciers. I love to hug you with my warm sunshine, tickle you with my wind and kiss you with my rain. I love the adjectives and the different verbs like tickle and kiss that the author uses. I also think the images in this book are beautiful. Even though Earth is in space, it kind of shows pictures on the Earth, too. Can you find the Earth? Good job. Now, let me ask you something. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? You see your eyes, of course. You see your hair, your nose, and your mouth. And if you smile, you see your teeth. I know some of my friends have been losing some teeth. Do you know what I see when I look in the mirror? I see all the animals walking on my land. I see all the birds flying in my sky. I see all the fishes, whales, and dolphins swimming in my oceans. And all of these animals I see are my children. Let's see if I can see the whole thing. This one is called Between Two Worlds. Can you see the two worlds? Can you see the earth? I see the underwater world and the savanna world. But there is something else I see when I look in the mirror. I see all of you. I see you because you too are my children. All of the animals that live on me are your sisters and brothers. We are all one big family. But many people still don't know they are my children and that all of the animals are their sisters and brothers. They still don't know that we are one big family. So even some of these are land animals and some of these are ocean animals, but we all need to work together. This one has two images, Earth Song and Final Embrace. Look how they did the sizes on these. The animals have told me, we are worried, Mother Earth. We are afraid because our homes are being destroyed by people who don't know better or don't care. They don't know that we are their sisters and brothers. 
Mother Earth, these people are cutting down your forest, dumping garbage in your oceans and rivers, and filling your sky with pollution. Tell me, my children, where will the animals live when my forests are all gone? Where will the whales and dolphins swim when my oceans are too dirty to live in? And where will the birds fly when my sky is poisoned? Imagine what life would be like with no wild animals living on me. What if there were no elephants left in Africa, no tigers in India, no pandas in China? What if there were no penguins in Antarctica, no kangaroos in Australia, no grizzly bears in the United States? Imagine my oceans with no whales or dolphins swimming in them and all the seals and sea otters gone. Imagine how empty my blue sky would look with no birds flying and think how quiet the trees would be with no birds singing. I would be so lonely. Wouldn't you be lonely too? And so, my children, I need your help, and the animals need your help, too. But Mother Earth, you ask, how can I help you and my sisters and brother animals when you are so big and I am so small? Well, my children, let me tell you something. I am not so big. As a matter of fact, I am quite small. When you go outside at night and look up at all the millions and millions of stars, you will see how small I really am. Compared to the night sky, I am no bigger than you. But because I look so big, people think I don't know what they do to me. They think I can't feel what they do to me. But I do know and I do feel. My children, when many people do a little thing to me, it becomes a big thing. So it's very important for each person to stop doing things that hurt me or hurt their sister and brother animals. Remember, there is only one of me, but there are billions of people. So when each person does a little something to help me, it makes a very big difference, a very good difference. Are you finding the earth and all the images? Now, what do you think is the biggest, most important thing you can do to help me? What do you think I need from you more than anything else in the world? I will tell you. Before I turn the page, can you make some predictions? I need you to love me. That's all. Just love me as much as I love you. Because when you love me, you will care for me. And when you care for me, you will protect me. And when you care for me and protect me, you will save your home and the homes of your sister and brother 
animals. I want you to think about what kind of animal we are. Some of my friends know that we are mammals. So we'll say the human animal. My children, tell your friends and other people what I have told you. Tell them I am their only home and that I need them to love me and care for me. Tell them all the animals are their sisters and brothers and that we are all one big family. And tell them too that I always know when they do little things to help me. My dear children of the earth, I will now end my letter to you. Remember, I am your home, and just like you, there is only one of me. If you love me, care for me, and protect me, I will always be your home forever and ever. I love you with all my heart. Signed, Mother Earth. So this week, think about some wonderful things you can do to help your Mother Earth and your brother and sister animals. I'll read another book another day. I love you guys all too. Bye.